Hello, my name is Jennifer Nielsen. To celebrate the release of my new book, Rescue, I'm doing a few book chats uh, in order to answer questions from fans and readers all over the world. Uh, today, I would like to talk about the planning and outlining process and uh, a little bit about that messy first draft. So uh, let's dive in with questions. Question number one. This question comes from readers in Mrs. Fitz's library who ask, do you know the whole book before you start writing or do you figure out the ending as you go? All right, there are writers who just figure out things as they go. They're called pantsters. That means they write by the seat of their pants. I am just not able to do that. Uh, so I've got to plan because to me to to not know the ending of a book, that's sort of like taking a vacation and you don't know your destination. Like, how do you even know which way to drive down the road? And so I'm always very, very careful to plan out the ending. Now, I don't necessarily know every step along the way, and I might plan out a step and it might change as I get into the process. But uh, generally, I know exactly where I'm going to end up, regardless of what happens in the middle. Question number two. Sue Sue asks, what do you do if you have a great idea of what to write, but it seems wrong when you write it down? Sue Sue, this is normal. This is normal when, when we first get that idea in our heads. It's like, it's like the picture on, on the cover of a jigsaw puzzle. Everything just looks perfect and beautiful and awesome. And then you start to write, which is us just dumping out all the puzzle pieces and it's kind of a mess. And all the pieces are in the wrong place and, and half of them are all turned over on the wrong way. And you look at all of them and you think, how am I ever going to make this into the way it looks on the cover? And so we start to put them together and nothing's quite right. Well, that's a first draft. But you have to push through that so that you can type the words, the end. And uh, once you get to that place, then you can start to do rewrites. And then it starts to feel just like you would want it to be. I'll give you an example. Now, right here is a first draft sentence from Rescue. I was too tired to think and fell asleep quickly. Not long after, I heard the first bomb drop. All right, not bad, but I felt like I could do better. And so in rewrites, uh, eventually it ended here. I wanted to keep thinking about Papa's coat, but I was so tired. I fell asleep almost immediately. There was no time that night for dreams. We could not have been sleeping for very long before the first bomb fell on Boulange Billancourt. All right, so I'm a lot happier with that second version, but that came after a lot of rewrites. Susu, if your first draft is not where you want it to be at, don't worry. It's called a first draft for a reason. You just rewrite and rewrite until you are very happy with what you are writing. Question number three. Avery asks, do you ever get writer's block? What do you do about it? All right, yes, Avery, writer's block is something that all writers experience in some way or another. Uh, what I'm going to do is explain to you a little bit about what it is and how you can get through it. All right, every story has an arc like this one. And uh, you have that beginning and you're so excited about it. It just feels epic and it's going to be so exciting. You lose sleep thinking about it and you have this ending that is just going to blow people's minds if you ever get to it. The problem is the middle. And it, I call it the muddy middle because every word just feels like you're just slogging through mud, trying to figure out what to write next. And you look at your character and say, what should we do next? And your character looks at you and says, I don't know, what do you want to do? And you just stare back and forth at each other as you try to figure out what you're going to write. Well, a lot of the reason for that muddy middle is that right in that moment, your character doesn't have enough problems. They have the overarching problem of the plot, but you can't solve that till the end of the book. 
right then, right in the moment when you get stuck, you need to give your character a new problem. So my standard is we are nice people, but we are cruel authors. And so right in that moment when you are stuck, you ask yourself, what is the meanest thing I can do to my characters right now? And then maybe you go ahead and do it. But asking the question at least should help to break you out of that writer's block. All right, thank you uh, for those wonderful, great questions. There will be more uh, videos to come, so I hope you will stay tuned. In the meantime, uh, I hope that Rescue is a book you will want to check out for yourself. You can borrow it from a friend, check it out from the library, or if you want to get your own copy, please support your indie bookseller first. You can also buy from Scholastic Clubs and Book Fairs or wherever you like to buy books. Thank you very much.